Hey everybody, Don with Brasia Toneworks and thanks for watching. Today's video is all about volume pots and exactly how they work. Uh, some people have been writing me asking me this, so I thought I'd put together a very short video explaining exactly how a volume pot works. Uh, we'll also do a tone pot in another video, but for right now we're just going to concentrate on exactly what goes into um, a volume pot and why does it operate the way it does. So to understand a volume pot, we have to first of all go back and understand a potentiometer in a general sense. It really is a resistor, something that's going to resist or impede the flow of current, or in our case, it's going to impede or resist the flow of the output of the pickups on the guitar. All right, if we open up a potentiometer, this is what we're basically going to see. We're going to see our three lugs, L1, 2, and 3. We're going to see a resistive material, and we're going to see a wiper that's connected to L2. And that wiper moves as we would turn the knob. It's going to go clockwise or counterclockwise. That wiper is moving across that resistive material, which is going to either increase or decrease the resistance between some of the lugs in the potentiometer. So when you guys are out sourcing parts for your guitar, you know you're going to look for a 250K pot for single coil and 500K pot for a humbucker guitar. What that 250 or 500K represents is the amount of resistance that that pot or that potentiometer is going to have on the signal. Now if you've watched my other video where I explain the reason why you want to spend the extra money and get quality pots, you'll know that you can measure the pot and the value, or in this case the resistance, by taking a multimeter and connecting one lead to L1 and the other to L3. That will tell you exactly the value of that pot from a resistance perspective. Now it doesn't matter what you do with the knob in terms of turning it to the left or turning it to the right. The resistance between L1 and L3 is constant. It will never change. What does change is the resistance between L1 and L2 or L2 and L3, and that's what I'm going to show you next. Now, turning the knob clockwise is going to decrease the resistance between L2 and L3, but it's going to increase the resistance between L1 and L2. Conversely, Turning the knob counterclockwise is going to increase the resistance between L2 and L3, but will decrease the resistance between L1 and L2. So again, remember, no matter how you turn that knob, your resistance between L1 and L3 is the same. Now, to turn a pot into a volume pot, we have to ground L3. We're going to use L2 as our output. So anytime you've opened up your guitar and you've done this, you know that your volume pot, we always ground the lug L3 to the top of the pot, and our L2 is our output to our output jack. So now let's take a look at why we do that and what is the effect when we turn that knob. When we turn the knob fully clockwise, meaning, man, we've got it all the way open, we've got full volume, Basically, we have no resistance between L1 and L2. So we are full bore. We've got all volume or output of those pickups coming out of that volume pot. Now, as we start to turn the knob down, what's happening is we are, in effect, increasing the resistance between L1 and L2. And we're decreasing the resistance between L2 and L3. That decrease means that more of the signal is going to ground or is just going nowhere. Now, if we were to have the knob fully counterclockwise, there's going to be no resistance between L2 and L3. Therefore, the entire signal, everything that's coming out of your pickups, is going to ground or basically going nowhere. So, one of the interesting things that this does is it changes people's perspective on a volume pot. In reality, you're never really turning up or down the volume. Rather, what you're doing is controlling how much of the signal is allowed to pass through. That is also what's known as attenuating. Well, that's it. That's all it takes to make a volume pot, and that's how one operates. We're taking our input to L1, our output to L2, and L3 to ground. And turning the knob up or down, counterclockwise or clockwise, is just simply changing the amount of resistance between the various lugs. And that resistance will change how much of a signal is coming out of that pot. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's helped some of you who are kind of questioning exactly how this works or why uh, some of the lugs are used the way they are in a volume pot. I appreciate you watching. 
If you have any questions, please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone, it's not just a knob, it's sound advice.